Hey, what's up, guys? Who's ready for another rehouse? So, this video is going to be another tarantula rehouse. I still have some uh, other rehousings to do. Uh, most of that is only put off because of lack of enclosures. Uh, I pretty much got all the materials I need for other rehousings. I just need enclosures. Uh, there was supposed to be two rehousings today. Unfortunately, there is only one. I will explain that here in a minute. But I'm going to let you guys go to the fridge, grab a cold drink, uh, go grab a snack, a little Davy cake or a pizza roll or something. Come back. Let's rehouse a tarantula. All right. So I thought I would start out by giving you guys a little tour of the new enclosure. Um, as you may be able to tell, this is an arboreal setup. So I will give a couple of clues as to who is going in here. It is um, an arboreal. As you can tell, it is also um, a new world. So uh, transfer should go pretty easy, I hope. But there we go. That is the new setup. One more quick time around. Um, I wanted to put live plants in here, but I don't have light for it right now. So... Um, I could not put live plants in. I may do that at a later date, but for right now, I've got some fake plants. I think I've got enough anchor points for webbing for this species because they do do a lot of webbing. So I'll quit talking about the tarantula. I'll go get it and let's show you guys. Okay, so I finally got the lid off of this tarantula's old enclosure, and you will see by the webbing, some of you experienced keepers may recognize. Uh, the characteristics of the webbing of a certain particular um, New World arboreal genus. There we go. I'm going to back it on out. And I'm afraid it's going to go around here on me. Um, these guys are notorious. A couple of different genus are notorious for webbing on lids of enclosures and things like that and that is uh what had happened here now let's see if we can coax it out it's going to be hopefully pretty easy here we go some of you may start to recognize this beauty right here wow look at those colors so what we have as you can tell is a carabina versicolor formerly known as the Avicularia Versicolor. When I first started the hobby, that's what they were named. And then they were renamed shortly after I started in the hobby to the Carabina genus. All of them are very, very similar. Uh, just different names and different um, colors and things like that. But all the pink-toed tarantulas are pretty much the same, especially when it comes to that trademark pink toe walk. I love that little high step thing they do. It is just so cool. This uh, this critter right here is actually unsexed at the moment. Um, not sure what sex it is yet. I have not been able to retrieve any uh, usable molts from this tarantula. Not because it destroys the molts, but you saw that webbing that they do. Well, they web, they um, excuse me, they molt in that webbing and then you cannot get to the molt without damaging it. So unfortunately, we still don't have a sex on this uh, tarantula, but it is a real beauty either way. I am going to get the uh, enclosure ready. Let's get it in its new forever home. All right, so I'm not going to lie, guys. I just spent the last um, 10 or 15 minutes after that last... Um, little clip where I pause there. I actually spent the last 10 or 15 minutes with this little creature walking around on my hands, up my arm. And that's the first herky-jerky bolty movement that that thing has given me. Uh, so far, I actually just stood there for at least 15 minutes right after that last little bit and uh, let this guy walk on my hand. I literally actually set up the camera, the light, the enclosure, the entire shot with the tarantula on my hand the whole time. So there we go. There is my Carabina Versicolor in its new permanent home. This will be its home for good. Uh, I mentioned 
that there were supposed to be two rehousings today, but only for, unfortunately we only have one. I ordered two glass Exoterra enclosures from a company. I received them yesterday. One of them was broken. No doubt the work of a certain um, parcel service. I will not mention any uh, names or uh, abbreviations or anything like that, just to save face for people, but one of them was broken. So today I called the company that I ordered these enclosures from. I told the customer service lady uh, my situation. She took down my order number, went back to the stock room, came back to make sure to make sure um, that what I had ordered they had in stock so they could offer a replacement, came back and told me over the phone uh, that they did have them in stock and that they could send me a replacement if that's what I wished. I told them, yes, I would rather have the enclosure than the money back. And she asked me just to email a couple of pictures to them of the damaged enclosure. She said I didn't have to take it completely out of the box just to make sure, you know, I had a couple of looks of the damage and that they would get me one out as soon as they got that. So I have another rehousing coming. It's another arboreal, as you can guess. Um, I did order two Exoterra Nano Tall enclosures. As I said, one of them arrived broken. The fortunate thing about it is it was only one pane of glass um, on one side. So I think I'm just going to take the remaining glass out and probably put screen on that side and then use that enclosure for something else. Uh, possibly a wandering spider or a large mantis. Something that needs a pretty tall enclosure like that. So... That being said, I am going to stop rambling, see if I can't figure out how to change that enclosure into a new enclosure for something else, and maybe get out another rehouse today, but I'm not going to promise that. But I, did, I do hope that you enjoyed this video, and that you will let me know with a thumbs up and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't done that. Share this video with your friends, and as of course, as always, always, always take care of yourselves and each other. Thank you so much for watching. God bless.